Stamper, have you ever talked about Vincent Van Gogh on the podcast? Uh, I might have cracked on him once. Okay, I was just because I, I thought your opinion on him was funny. I don't think any of us know what's, that. What's your appeal of Vincent Van Gogh? Well, I thought it was a hack. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> just drop the axe. What do you think that pussy walked around? He's like, yo, what's up? What about that just, one dude? Talking shit, dude? What about that one dude who drew, Look, like, I'll put it this way. Like, go to walks, a museum. I'll, I'll be Vincent Van Gogh. What's up, man? I heard you be talking shit. My buddy Rick told me about what you were saying, man. Talking shit behind my back, man. Oh, uh, yeah, right? I saw a starry night. It was great, Mr. Van Gogh. And I yeah, also man. saw a painting next to it that was photorealistic before photographs even existed and they painted it with berries. <laughs> Damn, dude. What the fuck? Where'd that come from? Oh, yeah. oh boo-hoo. You cut your ear off? Oh, <laughs> Stop I'm sorry. It. I'm Stop it. problems with Stop your fucking it. life. Stop it. Say what you don't like him. It's funny. What's what? that one Say fucking, what? what's that one painter? That, that one dude who makes faces look like oh, oh, Picasso. Oh, fucking Picasso. I hate Picasso. I don't like Well, see, that's the either. thing. Like, Van Gogh and Picasso, they all went through phases of what they did. I think So Picasso, you can't totally hate him. Truthfully, they all started he's with, like, a creator, very... so I cannot really? say that I really hate as Van Gogh. As far as art goes, I think Picasso I hate like, Jackson Pollock I'll say that much maybe Picasso has maybe two pieces I think are good because it, it looks like he put effort into it but for the most part I mean if it in my opinion coin. Cool. If, if he if, if if he uploaded his picture to the New Balance Art Portal, what would the review? What would you review? What would you leave him? What would Be you like score him? Zero. Nice creativity. <laughs> Wait, what about that guy who did the camel Seen soup? It. Yeah. Seen it. I'd, be like, I'd be like, oh, how cute. Yeah. Are you pulling off a fucking what's his name? Are you pulling off a Tim Schafer look? Mm -hmm. he, he'd respond be like, too long, get a read, lol. What do you think? What about uh, the dude who did the Campbell soup and the Marilyn Monroe shit? What was his name again? Andy Warhol. Yeah. What, like he was kind of shit. Yeah, he was the first was meme maker, as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what. Why, why, why is it kind of super interesting? And didn't recolored it. He because was, it was presented in a way that you've never seen it before. What can Jackson Pollock holds the record for the most expensive painting ever sold. Really? And yeah. he's up there, and it's one of those bullshit fucking splatter paintings, and I can't oh, stand it. Oh, it's one of it. those ones? Oh, I hate those ones. Fuck you that. You've never heard of Pollock before? No. I know I'm going to get crucified for this, but the dude was a fucking hack. And no, then he if it's died one of splatter and things, alcoholic, then he... and I'm glad. Looks like the Art Attack <laughs> logo. Fuck that. They have, like, art museums where they glue hair to cheese and they're like, it's realism. <laughs> it's realism. It's all, it's emotion. I just, I just had to let my emotions out. I heard some of that really stuck with me. It's like, you know, pe pe I think art went from, like, expression plus talent to just expression. Yeah. Alright. Anybody can express themselves. It doesn't make you a that fucking, fucking artist. That fucking interior semantics. It's not A girl standing on pies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's art. doing something and then somebody else, like, painting, perceives pe perception. Actually, painting, painting a photorealistic landscape with creativity and weirdness put into it, that's art. I saw it. Oh. Hang your tire from a different tire, is that art? I actually think uh, Free Bleed McGee is really one of my favorite artists. She's <laughs> that one chick who bleeds on things. Oh, yeah, the SpaghettiOs chick, right? I saw yeah. this video. Uh, She's a good artist. It was totally really art. <laughs> it was uh, three naked people uh, rolling around a crowd of people, and they had to like like hold them up while they were like going around. And, yeah, like, I saw that. It's Katamari Damasi. These people in the audience didn't know what was going on. Just naked people had their ass in their face, and they're like, Jesus Christ, that was art for some reason. They were it's, just rolling down the I think the thing. anyone calls everything art because, like you said, expression. Expression is not art. Well, that I don't think would, so. I'm sure there's a school of people that argue otherwise. Do you remember? Picture, I feel like I it's, a, it's, it's, it's a crapshoot. It's like rolling dice. Like, Zach, you could dip your hand in a bucket of black paint and then just whip it at yep. a canvas and then just wait for somebody to say oh that really speaks to me and then you can sit and bullshit them for a couple hours and be like here here's what I was thinking about but truthfully it was, it was for you whip the black United paint States. yeah exactly you can literally fucking add a million things to it you see all these black dots those are all the African Americans that aren't getting <laughs> their <laughs> just cause and I also think that the people who think that they're good are all like bullshitting themselves because they want to seem like they're higher up than other yeah, people they're, they're just part of the go, to, like, oh. go to eBay type in painting and then sort it from highest price to lowest price and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. I could say I was it, about to say that. I would be like, it's you know all what, splatter artists? paintings. Dudes asking buy it now price for five million dollars. I could like just waiting for I could sit my bare ass and paint and then sit on a canvas and say like it's a beautiful book. You could do what that one guy does and pump paint up his ass and spray it out on canvas. <laughs> Someone does that? Well yes. that one up me. And there's the other dude that like ties wires to his back and then he covers his whole body with paint and just swings into <laughs> canvases <laughs> like Spider Man and then he sells those. It's bullshit. It's I'd probably buy one of those. You ever see those side by sides where it's like uh, granted it is it's not that it's not creative, but it's still bullshit. It's still I mean, bullshit. It's give not me a like, break. Yeah. There's no expression. He's, that's literally what it is. He swung his body in a You ever see those side by sides where it's like, was this stuff by a famous artist or a five year old? It's like they put the side by sides, <laughs> I've it's like seen oh, them. that sounds amazing. They like a five year old. I, I think there was like a couple years ago there was a five year old who was like throwing paint on a canvas and it was selling for a fucking lot of money. They did that in New York. There yeah. was like that abstract museum and then they intentionally did that where they got a bunch of finger paint. 
paintings from a first grade kindergarten students oh, and they this. hung them all up and then all these art critics went there and they were like, oh, I love the use of color. But it was children that did them. Exactly, that's my point. It's exactly it. They don't know what they're talking you about. You think, um, like the dudes at like RateMyPoop.com, <laughs> like they actually... <laughs> that is over. They, right. they carried in a turd in a duffel bag or in a plastic <laughs> container. I get those confused. And they went to one of the art people and they were like, here, and they showed them. And there's like googly eyes implanted. I remember a turd that was rated 10 had googly eyes and was looking back at you. Do you think he presented that turd to an art place and they gave him $4 million for it? You know, Cole, it's fucked up, but I honestly think if you <clears> gave <throat> a petrified turd with googly eyes to an art museum, they'd put it up. They would. I Not only so. that, but I have Because it's art. I don't it's think real. I don't think I've told the story when, before. No, really, realistically, when a poop comes out, it's looking back at you. That's the only thing it sees. It's looking up. It's not looking down. It's looking up. So you wash it away. It's a metaphor for the poor looking up at society, man. Some lady got like sued because she was like a janitor at an art museum and she threw a bunch of garbage into a trash can and the artist was like, that was art! And it just like got her in trouble. What the fuck? So yeah. there is a village in Germany, Cleva, Germany, and you can look it up. Mm -hmm. And at the top of this village, there's a there's a hill. The whole thing's built on a hill and there's a castle at the top. And this whole village, Cleva, is famous for an artist that they had. It's one of the things they're famous for. They had an artist that was very famous there and he got so pissed pissed off that everybody loved his work. No matter what he did, everybody would say, oh yes, amazing, amazing, and they'd come. And he got so pissed off at it, he was like, finally, uh, he, he just pooped in a box. And everyone fucking loved it. Loved loved it. it. Yeah. Not only did they love it, so if they put go, googly eyes on it. it. No, if you, they should have. <laughs> if you go to the castle, it is the centerpiece of the museum of the floor that, that is, is dedicated to him. Like the, it is literally the biggest F you to himself yeah. that he could have possibly That's what done. I'm saying. That's why art works and that's why comedy works. The The first rule of comedy is people always laugh and they're always receptive of things that they've never seen before. That's yeah. why things are funny. That's why it triggers in your mind. It's, it's you do also, something, uh, you know, never mind a meme. A meme is funny or something random is funny the first time you see say, it. I, I feel like a lot of people see that and try to be artificially random. Right. You yeah. try to be artificially uh, creative and say, "Oh, I'm gonna but they're still missing the point. It's right, not something exactly. you've never seen before. It's like uh, again, like the uh, there was another gallery in New York that uh, the centerpiece pieces was a pig's head. They cut off uh, the head of a pig and they put it in a, a confined uh, acrylic box, and the the art piece was watching the pig's head rot and just you gather bugs and do all that and every time you went back and you saw it, you just see the pig head rot and it's something that nobody's seen before. But that's art. And people paid astronomical amounts of money to see a fucking pig head rot in a box. <laughs> but it's all something that nobody's seen before. That's all it is. And it works with a lot of stuff. Well, I was yeah. going to say, that's probably why if you look at the paintings that are most expensive, they're the ones that look just like random ass bullshit. Because if you have a painting that looks like something else, your mind can comprehend what you're seeing. Yeah. And you might even be able to put a value on that. But if you're looking at paint splatters or some like weird abstract piece of shit, because you don't quote unquote understand it, you try to fill in the blanks, and all of a sudden the worth of it is so much. It, because, it, because whatever. It's undefinable. Well, I'll tell you, in terms I'll, I'll, it's, it's, it's almost like a self appreciation. It's like you get, you assign it exactly. your, your own worth, so you're kind of assigning yourself that price. The more you your care about this random piece right. of thing, the more you're equivocating you're, it to you're your really, own you're really value. You're really paying for your own opinion, exactly. though, right? You are I mean, paying like, for your own this opinion. This is what I feel it is, and I feel this is the best example, and this is what I, you know what I mean? I so want to hold a focus group for paintings. I want to show one painting and then bring 20 people. In and say, write your honest opinion down on this piece of paper, and every opinion, it, it's going to be a fucking travesty yep. at the end of it because nobody's going to have the same. And that's what they're capitalizing on. That's what they, that's right. the people, they know what they're doing. And they're saying, that's the, oh, I'm sure, I'm sure that they would say, well, that's the point, is that people interpret differently. No, what they're saying is you just don't understand it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And if you pay enough money, then What's you What's funny, do. too, is a lot of, <laughs> artists, you know, sometimes you'll have the, even have the artist be like, you know, somebody else who paid you, be like, oh, it's, it, it's, 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 a, it's a metaphor for, for all the Jews killed in the Holocaust. It's like, no, it's just, it was drawn an apple it's like one of those different angles it's like yeah. one of those bullshit like, movies that has like an, a, a, an ending that's just open to interpretation yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so everyone's, like, everyone's in forums like no it meant this it's like are you so Again, stupid it meant this it's, oh no you're stupid it meant this it it's, just it's easy going. to pander to people's personal because like if you read a book it's like you imagine what the main character looks like it's the best version of your head right. so it's a really kind of an easy way to get out of things it's, I think the unambiguous said you know, the, you know the left to interpretation endings are always really lazy because it's like literally it's what the person wants to be like, the artist is so terrible 
terrified that they're not going to do their job. They're like, oh, you decide, man. I'm, fuck, I'm not. Right. I, I don't want to write it. I'm, I'm not a writer. I, I think there are cases it. where, like, if you've set it up right, I feel like there are times. Maybe where okay, it could be kind of fun yeah. and playful, but if it's if so, it's so lazy, it's just like I don't know. You decide. So last thing. So you th- do you think when I see an amazing painting done by somebody in fucking 1824, um, I look at it in a technical way, but most people don't respect it. They're upstairs looking at all the contemporary yeah. art. Uh, I, I'm looking at it in this way, but it's something that everyone's seen before, so they don't care about that. Definitely. Well, it's the other problem too is they, they look at it, okay, that's... They see, that's... like, these m- amazing marble statues before, like, anyone really knew how to carve marble, and you're like, wow! Nobody I know in this entire lifespan could ever carve a human statue out of marble with that kind of detail. But in, in fairness, though, it's, they, it's, they became like they became um, what's it called like not interns, but what's the word when they someone takes them on to do the to help apprentice them apprentice. Yeah, they became them when they were like fourteen, and that's all they did until they were twenty something. It's still amazing work, but it's people amazing. always look at it at like the corner of their eye, and they just walk past it. Well, it's because towards. because they know what it is, right? They can see, okay, this is this person's skill level. This is this person. This how long it probably took them. This is what it looks like. Da, 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 da. But if you walk up, it, it it's pretty basically it's self masturbation. That's what people are pandering to these days. It's self masturbation. It's it's. You know, it, it it's it's you projecting your own opinions and whatever you know, whatever you want it to be. Like it actually matters. Oh, I was gonna say when I look for art, um, the things I'm looking for in art is two things: uh, either a half naked girl, or <laughs> the art is like, you know, it's a path, but it's like a unique kind of style. Like there's that one art piece where it's like the path is constantly going up, but it tricks your eyes into thinking it resets. In Escher? Um, yeah, yeah, it's, I, it, that that was in Escher. Oh, Escher. Yeah, that yeah, stuff, that stuff to me is really cool. So something that MC, you look at yeah. that fucks with your vision like something that if it like you look at a dot in the middle and then like it, you can see shit other than that in my opinion that kind of art is are you talking about optical want. illusions yeah <laughs> that is fun art though i want that to be as cool i would actually rather have a piece of optical illusion that's what art I'm in saying. my house you're talking about like on facebook where it's like <laughs> yeah stare at the dot <laughs> yes yes i look, want that on my green wall square yeah i want that <laughs> on my wall with a naked girl next to it it's perfect it's like this keeps your t- attention and this keeps your attention. Or she's you know, clothed, and then when you look at the dot, and then look at her. That would be make per- it, no, That would be a perfect. Coy, 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 put the dot in her pussy, dude. It's both. No, what I mean. It did that, Coy. You, you could do you that. Dot to put all and her then, like, since it like makes your vision all fucked up, you like look at her, and then her titties are twisting, and it's like kind of like you know. No, what I'm saying is for the kids out there. Hey, kitties, if you want to have nudie pics up in your house, okay. you can do some <laughs> cool optical illusion stuff where like you have to stare at like a green dot for five it's seconds. It's really hard to do that. And then look at the picture, and you'll see this beautiful pussy naked thing, that, you know, naked guy, girl, whatever you like. What do you think? But Let's I, do it. I'm saying if you just walked into the room, your parents would never know. They'd have to be staring at green and red dots. Uh, so to go back a couple. Uh, yeah, get, get, get a dot dot in the pussy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> get art, so you need a fucking decoder ring to enjoy it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> next Wait, question. Well, yeah, we need to go on to the next question. All right, so next up from potato. How does the decoder ring work with a dot pussy? Go on. Because you put the label on, and it tells you which <laughs> picture to look at. Okay. Because it matches it's up the with the dot. Anyways. Yeah. All right, boys. Yes? Be busy. Biscuit asks, what's an easy to learn, hard to master aspect of animation? Oh, there's a new one. Easy to learn, hard to master. Easy to learn. Uh, I would say this. Uh, I would say all of the principles of animation in general. There's probably five or six things that you really need to know when you're animating. It's easy to learn what those are and know what those are and know you have to do those. But applying but, them. But to actually apply those in unison, like a nice dance, is super hard. Here you go. Keyframing. People think, like, yeah, you can do keyframing simple. You get to the first point, to the last point, but there's a lot of stuff you kind of have to know There's in a lot between. of moving parts moving at different rates. Yeah. It's not hard. It's... It's tedious. Everyone has a different method of animating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone in this room right now animates in a very different way so you can't say that it's hard well, it's hard for, it was hard for me when to, somebody's asking well, they're, they're looking for a that. direction in that and there is no direction because everybody does things their own way if I opened up one of Zach's files, I would my mind would be blown, and vice versa, and anyone yeah. else in this room. Like, yeah. Everybody does things very differently. It's all about your bottom line and how you want to get it out. It's it you you will find your own way of doing stuff. I would just say feel it out. Look at everything you have. 
and uh, try to apply it your own way, and you'll find your own formula. You'll find, oh, this this way works. Really. I click with this way. And I was just talking about Flash too. Yeah, yeah, so. exactly, Flash too. So there's it, other programs and other, other programs. Methods. Other you could do uh, CG. You could do puppet animation. You could do Tweety. You could do frame by frame. You could do limited frame by frame. You could do a million different things. Stop motion for me. Stop motion. Yeah. So for me though, it was king in getting that down. For me, because they asked what what we what is hard, and for me, it was getting keys. And following through with the keys because you put a key and then you go through with it. But for me, there was always like I had kind of had to learn how many frames would go in between that, or if I wanted to exaggerate certain things. And then sometimes I would change the keys or add in at more keys because I didn't like how those keys yeah. were laid I, out. What I what I tried to do, and this is what I try to do in general now with animation. I think it's the easiest thing to do. Is it's really easy to get carried away and do things straight ahead and do kind of micromanage everything, but. What I do is I do keyframes. I set. I basically I, I divide it more and more and more. So maybe the end of this animation has 50 frames, but I start off with two. So I do keyframe, keyframe. Then I put one in the middle there, and a breakdown. Mm -hmm. Then I put ones between those. Then I put ones between those. Then I put ones between those. So it's kind of I kind of have it constantly. Yeah. Well, it's actually, like a cell dividing. Now for me, it's kind of like what I do is um, since I'm doing like game development, so I'm doing characters constantly. Yeah, sure. I have full bodies to work with, but I have them. Kind of not in a T-shape, like bullshit 3D, but just in their standard stand position. And I pretty much take their area of perspective and I work within that area. So if they're punching, they're I take their static position and I draw them punching over that. Kind of like, an, oh, like that's the overlay for me. And if they're like surprised or anything, I use the original static position. And that's pretty much how good I, I do keys. And it, it retains the same shape. So you don't get that wonky off the shape things because you have your original thing you were following. You were just moving with that. And I do that a lot for animation now. Like if I have a key, I'll work within the key. I'll take the head. And if the head's supposed to be looking up, I'll draw within the head if he's looking forward. But I just know the perspective is looking up, so I kind of got to figure out the And then you adjust shape. the body later if yeah, you have exactly. to, to Ex compensate that. Exactly. But you have the body there as a reference. The That's kind of what onion skinning is, though. Yeah, it's like bit. you you set an onion skin layer, and I, fucking Jeff has completely warped my way of animating, I'll be honest. <laughs> In a good way. Before, it used to be more like... Um, Really freehand. Hey, wait, where is Jeff? Oh, oh he yeah, died on his way here. He got he didn't honk his horn like he's supposed to because it's kind of like the uniform rule when yeah, you drive. Yeah, the Jeep guys Jeep, fucking it, rode him off the road. They fucking Mad crashed into him. They all rolled him off the yeah. street. Jeep guys beep at each other. Basically, if you don't honk your horn or wave at them or you know acknowledge other Jeep people when they wave at you, they will fucking hunt you down. They and recognize kill you. you too. Yeah, but they, no, but is that actually a thing? Like the, the that. They do honk at each other. Yeah. 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 Wow. He's recording Evo right now. Yeah. He's in his underwear. Evo. He's TiVoing Evo. With a sweatband on. 